Global X interviews social entrepreneurs who tackle some of the world's biggest problems. They are pioneers of innovation that benefit humanity. I'm Zaina Anwar and I'm the Executive Director of Sisters in Islam, which is a women's group uh, working on the rights of Muslim women in Malaysia. We're based in Malaysia. One of the first cases that we did was a woman who was um, married for eight years and was trying to get a divorce, you know, for like five years um, and so when she first came to me she was a very submissive quiet insecure um, you know person she's been trying to get a divorce from a violent husband not only was her husband violent the husband had also taken another wife and had children from that second wife for me what was wonderful was to see her transformed over those years um, you know, to be a very confident woman. She decided to fight the case herself in court. She learned the law. We provided her with, 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 with the statutes. Uh, you know, other groups were helping her how to fight the case in court. And in the end, it took her another two and a half years went on. It took her seven and a half years to get a divorce from an eight-year <laughs> marriage. In the end, she got her divorce. It also raised um, public um, anger about why she needed seven and a half years to get a divorce from a husband who was violent to her, who did not pay her and her child any maintenance, um, and who had already married another woman and had his own life completely separate from her, and yet she was not free to lead her own life. Of course, I'm optimistic. You have to be optimistic if you're in this struggle. Um, I hope that in 10 years' time, Sisters in Islam can close shop, you know, that we don't have to exist because all these problems will be solved, you know, that we have um, a, a transformation, you know, of the teachings of Islam and the understanding of Islam and Islamic laws that recognize equality and justice. I hope in 10 years, I mean, I know I'm being optimistic, you know, that that, that transformation you know, would be assured. Many of the discriminatory laws that we inherit, you know, we inherited from the British. You know, these were common law practices, but of course it has been changed um, in the West now to suit changing times and circumstances. And in, in countries like Malaysia, um, you know, where Islam, you know, is used to resist change and to, you know, to, 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 to resist the demand um, for changes. Um, you know, we know, you know, that the arguments, you know, that we use to justify justice and equality within Islam, that in the end, um, that this transformation has to take place because the realities of women's lives have changed, you know, so law as well has to change in order to deal with the changing realities. Of course, there are very strong, powerful forces that are against this change, you know, but I believe, um, you know, that in the end, you know, justice will, will prevail because the realities of our, of our lives is just, you know, are, are just totally different from when these laws were first conceptualized. Global X is also on Social Edge at socialedge.org.